Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to, go and show you how to fix your PlayStation 5 not updating the system software. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So if your PlayStation 5 is not updating the system software, go ahead and press the PlayStation button, open up the control center, and then go on down to downloads and select this. Now go to download and select the system software under this screen and then cancel and delete the download. Once we do that, we wanna go up to settings and select this. Now go on down to system. Now go to system software and go to system software update settings and select this. Then you can go to update system software. Mine is currently up to date. Now we can go to update using the internet and download a copy of the new system software. Otherwise we can go to update from USB drive. Now there is no device located on my PlayStation 5 right now. You will need to go to the PlayStation 5 website and download the system software and then transfer it over to your PlayStation 5. Now also make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. So go to storage and just check your console storage and make sure there is enough space. And if there's not, go ahead and just delete a few games or some applications. Now let's go ahead and launch our PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu by pressing the PlayStation button and then going to power and completely turn off your PlayStation 5. Now to get your PlayStation 5 to launch into the safe mode menu, once it's completely turned off and there's no light on like the light bar over here, go ahead and locate the power button and then hold this down. Now you will hear one beep initially and then you will hear another beep. And then on your screen, you'll see that it's launching into the safe mode menu. Now you won't be able to operate that menu with your PlayStation 5 controller, just wirelessly. You need to actually plug it in with a USB cable. So find a USB cable, plug in your controller, then press the PlayStation button, and you should be able to operate the safe mode menu now. So you'll be brought to the screen where you can see a couple different options. Now, let's go on down to option number five, clear cache and rebuild database. So the first thing you should do is clear the system software cache. Now, once you do that, it will restart your PlayStation 5 and you have to go ahead and re-enter the safe mode. Then go on down to option number two, rebuild database. So if you are having any kind of like hardware issue or corrupted data, this should go ahead and fix this. Now, this will restart your PlayStation 5 and rebuild the database as well. Now let's go through those couple of different options. You can come back over to update system software and select this. Now we're going to have the same options as we did before, update from USB drive, then also update using internet. Now this is going to be a little bit different than the PlayStation system settings because this will still allow us to update our PlayStation 5 even if we are at the current version. So it says the PlayStation software will be updated. So before it told me my PlayStation 5 was already up to date and I didn't need to update. Well, doing it this way, I can go ahead and still apply a fresh update. So hopefully this PlayStation 5 video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.